you excited? Are you trying to blow out the candles? Good morning, internet people. Welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. I have Little Man and Mister here with me. Hi. And we are in a really beautiful, warm place today, as you can tell by the title of today's video. We are currently in Malaga, Spain. Right now, we're standing outside of La Manquita, and we're gonna be going inside in a second, but I wanted to do this interaction here really quickly and just show you the outside first, because it's really difficult to see um, like around the corner, because it's really high. But the Malaga Cathedral is called the La Manquita, because, I don't know if you can see, I think you can, there is the tower, and there's actually supposed to be a second tower right behind it, right here. So basically what happened when they were building it is they ran out of money and so they just pretty much stopped. So it's a very interesting piece of history and the inside of the church is Baroque and beautiful and if you ask me, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. So we're gonna go inside and have a look. And after that, I think we're gonna try to go to the Picasso Museum and maybe get some delicious food. So we'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> You ready? La Manquita. Oh my gosh, this is amazing, y'all. Wow. Hey guys, so we are inside of the cathedral right now. We're sitting actually in the seating area. And little man was asking me about the church and so I thought I could just tell everyone about it all at the same time. So, um, this cathedral is super, super, super old. But did you know that it wasn't always a church? It used to be, at one point, it was a mosque, which is a different religion, but still Abrahamic. But that would explain some of the shape a little bit um, on the inside. And you're not listening, are you? There is a lot more history to it than that, but that's all little man can really digest right now. So I am going to, this will probably be the last time you see me inside of the church. Maybe not, but I'm going to turn the camera around and just really enjoy um, what's going on around me, show you guys around a little bit, and yeah, it's gonna be good. Well, a man wants me to explain this, so I'm gonna just do it on camera. Okay, so right there, do you see that one right there with the yellow dress? That is, well, they're all pictures of Jesus' life. So that's Jesus at someone's house right there. And then the second one right there, to the right of it, where Jesus has had his hands holding up. Do you see it? Okay, that's where he's in the garden. Like, you remember where he was praying before he died? And then you can't see it because it's behind here but there's a picture of the Last Supper. And then the one right there is Jesus before Pilate. And in that picture, do you remember how they decided to kill him in the square? Yeah, well that's where, that's where that picture is supposed to be. And the one next to it right there is the um, crucifixion or like, actually no, it's not the crucifixion. That's, you know how they hurt, they hit him a lot before they put him on the cross? Yeah, that's what that is right there in that picture. And then if you go up one level here, you can see there's all these people standing up. Those are all the saints. And I can't remember all of them in order, especially because it's kind of hard to see what the weapons are that are attached to them. But usually they're depicted with the weapons that how, they, how they died. But I know that that one on this corner is Paul. Because I know that the audio guide told us that. They told us all of them, but I already forgot which order they're all in. It goes towards gold, like moth to a flame. It gets very shiny, I understand. Ew, what is that picture? Blood. Yeah, it's blood. Do you know who it was? It was one of the saints. What? It was one of the saints. So because he believed in Jesus, he was telling people about him, cut his head off. Are you trying to blow out the candles? What? What do you think this is, a birthday cake? This is the Chapel of St. Julian, and, or San Juan in Spanish. Um, it's got a lot of different pieces of artwork in here, but the big one at the top is this one up here and this is a depiction of the story of 
when Jesus is having dinner and the woman or the harlot, as you can see, as her dress is like falling off of her, came from behind him, realized who he was and washed his feet with her hair and alabaster perfume. And then we think, which you might be wrong, but we think that up there, that guy who looks like he's yelling and like, hey, he could have bought a lot of things with that money from that jar. And Jesus was like, hey, don't mess the pedicure. Well, that's not what he said. He set him straight, but to me, that's what it looks like in the picture. It looks like he's saying, don't mess the pedicure. So we just finished up inside of the cathedral. We're currently inside of kind of the cathedral garden is what I would call it. When you come out right before you go out the exit and you can actually see it when you go around towards the ticket office. But I was standing in here looking at everything around me. I noticed that there's an orange tree up there. It has oranges on it. And I really want to pick one, but I'm not going to, but I want to. But there's a difference between actually wanting to and doing it. Maybe we can find one on the ground. Found one, oh, but it's very squishy. Orange? Oh, look at all the crosses. I was gonna tell you what they are, but there's no sign. Here's the mister. It's actually really pretty in here. Sculptures are interesting. They're like wood and metal, like mixed media. It's your twin. It's your twin. It looks just like you. It looks just like you. Look. Do you see the eyes? You don't think it looks like you? It does ring a bell. Oh, it's a hand on one side and a dove on the other. Sneaky. Hello. Welcome back to the channel Sierra YouTube. Aw, oh, very good. Welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. You haven't seen me since. So, I don't know, for you a couple minutes ago. Um, we just finished up at the church and then we grabbed some lunch at a delicious little vegan bistro about, was it five minutes maybe? Yep. Away, called Meat Vegano. It's a fully vegan place, as I already mentioned, just about five minutes or so away from the church. And the food was amazing, 12 out of 10. It's definitely vegan junk food, so if you're going for like smoothie bowls and like raw food, it's not gonna be your jam, but they had this amazing vegan cheeseburger. 10 out of 10. Little man had a like a crunchy burger, which is the same thing, but like the deep fried bun. He thought it was amazing. And Mister, what did you have? You had the nachos, right? nachos. Yeah, and it was? Delicious. Amazing, yeah. So if you are vegan, or even if you're not vegan, I highly, 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 highly suggest a little stop at Meat Vegano. I will put all of their details down in the description. Um, now we're on our way. Hopefully we'll have some time to go to the Picasso Museum. They theoretically closed at seven, but it's currently five, so maybe the hours have changed. I don't know, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Looks like we will have to queue for a while. Are you excited? Yeah? We were able to get a ticket to the Picasso Museum, which is exciting. Mister is already flabbergasted by the beauty of the building. It's just like classic Spanish style balcony, but it's kind of hard to see with the light here. Unfortunately, we only have two hours until closing, so we're gonna see as much as we can and then go from there. And I'll show you some of our favorite bits. All right, Mister is gonna interpret the painting. Kind of like Atlas? Yeah, exactly. Okay. This is the, the atlas the head. Only is, it's his head right in the wall. Yes, well, officially this is called the head of a man, but Mr. is recalling it as atlas head atlas man. Head. There you go, atlas head. So you know that painting, it's like women of Emmy Young or something like that in English, where there's like like 10 or 15 naked women in one painting? This is like a practice for that. It's a man in an armchair. Can't really see the armchair. Because it's not all colored in. But I remember doing a study on um, paintings like this at the Picasso. I think it's like second or third grade. Remember we had to draw profiles and like the face on one side and then a different face on the other. Wonder if that's like what my teacher was going for. Maybe it just now like sunk in like 30 years later, but really cool. I love this one actually. I didn't like it at first, but I actually think I really love it. Yeah. This 
is Mr.'s favorite so far. It's a person laying down with a cat on him. I'm pretty sure that Peppa Pig just had a bad day. I think that's what's going on here. I know that's a bust of a woman, but like that's what my first thought was, was Peppa Pig had a bad day. I like how the faces are inverted in a lot of these. I'm gonna try that. Oh, I love seeing stuff like this. These pictures are all like studies or practices that he did when he was planning for a mural in the California villa. You can see about it right there. Hey there guys, so we haven't seen you in a while. Um, as you guys can see, we are no longer in Malaga. We just got back to a, our apartment in Marbella. We're very tired. We had a really good time. Um, the Picasso Museum was amazing. We wanted to get a chance to go check out the fortress that was up on the hill, but unfortunately we ran out of time and it's like 10 p.m. now. So I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna wash my face and eat some beans on toast and go to bed because we had lunch, dinner at like 4.30. So, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe before you leave, and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching.